uh, home foreclosures. Oh yeah, uh, in said particular, that. Bowie. Yeah, uh, we're the Prince George's County is the highest in the state of Maryland for foreclosures. For foreclosures, isn't that isn't that amazing? Wow. But it's sort of tied with the. You know, er everyone believed the myth for a while that not only were we a, a high-income community, we are. And a high that was a myth. Community. Well, we're not that high. I mean, when I saw million-dollar subdivisions. We're not Montgomery County. No, no, and you know, nothing, no shame in that. But we're not, we're not, we're a hundred thousand dollars off the Montgomery County house price. And yeah. So anyway, everyone bought into it. Borrower, mm -hmm. oh, you know the sellers, uh, it, the, the banks. I mean, it was all sort of a cabal. It wasn't any some guy you could point to and say, "Oh, they're the bad guy" because they made yeah. me alone. But it's a big problem. Are these politicians going to be able to address it? I think that uh, no is my yeah. my uh, my my thoughts on it. I think the best way to address it is for people to understand, take ownership of their own issues. The worst thing you can do is ignore that you're in a foreclosure because it's embarrassing. Yeah. Well, that's just wrong. You know. If it's good enough for Donald Trump, it's good enough for anybody who lives yeah, in Bowie. That's a good point. <laughs> you know, yeah. it, it, there, there are tools. It's just a business deal. And sometimes b business deals go right, and sometimes they go wrong. But just to put a bag over your head is not the right approach and wait yeah. to get evicted. Yeah. Uh, but there's, there's three ba basic things uh, uh, that folks can do before the, before the foreclosure, uh, uh, during the foreclosure, or right at, right at it, or post-foreclosure. And you can manage your loss, or you can negotiate a uh, 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 a restructuring of the loan or new new loan. But don't believe anybody that asks for a fee up front, including oh, an know. attorney. You know, uh, uh, my yeah. my advice is to anybody who's a homeowner who has some some issues, spend an hour of time with uh, uh, an, an attorney or their CPA. And confirm the, oh, yeah. the, the rough ideas. These I'm television out. ads from oh, these no, huxes scams. are absolutely appalling. Why are they on the air? Uh, they're, they're they're prosecuting uh, a bunch of them. It just takes three or four years to yeah. grab these suckers, and they. There's they, one on there that down. amazes me. There's no name of the firm. All it is is an 800 number, and this mm -hmm. guy babbling on. If you have these problems, just call this number. Right. You have no idea what the firm is. Right. Well, if you don't, if if they're not in the state of Maryland, licensed or a C CPA or an attorney, just don't don't rely on it. Yeah. And you can't rely on some magic government program either, because no. they can't find uh, themselves in the dark. Uh, yeah. uh, but you can you can you don't have to. Some pe people are under a misunderstanding that once the foreclosure sale happens, yeah. the next day they're gone, they're evicted. That's not true. No. It's nine months for the sale to get uh, finalized. Uh, prior to the sale, you can consider filing a bankruptcy. It's Chapter 13. Uh, the bank, and it, it's a good process because it allows someone who's put, hit a bump on the road, right. sickness, you know, uh, divorce, whatever, and you've got behind. But if you can get current or just start making your payments again, the court will grant you up to five years. Oh, is that right? To make up the difference. So let's say you're 10, 15 grand in the hole, but you can pay the Twelve hundred. You got another job. Or you can make your monthly payment now. Yeah. But you got this big hole, you big right. you know, glob, right. and banks, of course, always play hardball. Yeah. Uh, and and so, but a, a bankruptcy court will order as long as five years for you to rep, uh, to repay that uh, uh, the uh, uh, the arrearage. The, the other technique is to have a voluntary. Uh, 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 it's called a deed in lieu of foreclosure, where you tell the bank, look. Why don't you, uh, what, if you uh, let me go and yeah. don't charge me for a deficiency, then I'll, I'll sign the deed over to your bank and see, see you late, later. Yeah. A lot of people do that. That's, they're not, they don't know enough to make that offer, but if they want to not have it permanently affect their credit and they don't want to have any, lose any more money, they can uh, 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 negotiate a deed in lieu of foreclosure. The final step is to go ahead and bid it at sale, because yeah. they'll advertise it. Your house, let's say it's a $300,000 buoy house, that'll require likely a $15,000 deposit yeah. at the sale. And you have a friend or a straw or somebody bid it on your behalf, yeah. and you might luck out. So There's a lot of people out there with houses that uh, are worth less than their mortgage. Mine is. is, my, it, is mine, really? mine went yeah. down. Well, I challenged the assessment because I thought it was off the charts. I mean, we live in a nice house, but it ain't what they said it was worth. Well, I know there's a lot of that. Oh, it's just, uh, but you can. You can appeal, anybody can appeal your taxes, 
mid-cycle. It's every three years they reassess you. So if you think you're 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 upside down or uh, uh, or j just being upside, this market is a third less than it was two years ago. So is it really a third less? Absolutely. It's wow. uh, It's uh, you know depressing, but that meant it was marked up too. It was it was a bubble. Well, I, I hate to point this out to you, but um, mine's paid off. Oh. Rub it in. And I finance it through a government institution that actually works, oh. the Veterans Administration. Well, <laughs> the veterans take care of their own. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> that's, that's great. That's, well, that was one of the greatest things, the benefits of World War II, other than saving the world for democracy. Yeah. Well, but, but the institution evolved where veterans you know, yeah. are, are, are taken care of when they come home. Yeah. And it was, it was a uh, But great there was a time, John, during Vietnam when they really weren't. Absolutely. No, I, I, I uh, it was, uh, I, I had about a third of my class in high school ended up doing, doing service. And, uh, and the, uh, the ones that came back were, you know, uh, had severe tra traumatic emotional yeah. issues. Yeah. And it's, you know, my brother fortunately was sent off to Germany for his tour. So he, you know, he, he, he missed it, but yeah, yeah. that, that is a, it's, that is a, uh, a shame of our country that, that we, I think it's a shame. And it's my generation. That the Washington Post, uh, with their, uh, series of exposés on the VA downtown, the VA hospital, uh, Walter Reed, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Where Reed, these yeah. poor guys were, they weren't being treated properly. That's horrible. It's, uh, the bureaucracy meeting apathy. Mm -hmm. It's, uh. But it was perhaps we should get these teabaggers to concentrate on that. Well, if they could, if they could find a light switch, I guess. <laughs> that's that's that the, you know, I've I've been in this for forty years, yeah. and I've I've seen it's okay to have a faction. Sure. Uh, you know, and that's everyone has their their. But this bits. faction is loony. Loony. Yeah. It's uh, it's it's. I don't know if you follow Doonesbury at all, but yeah, he, I do. He's doing. He's doing this whole thing on teabaggers, and it's just, it's so on point, it's so good. But it, it, it when you have dissent that isn't listening, that's the problem yeah. in, in any kind of demo democracy. If you're- Well, there's no bilateralism. Right, I right. mean, it's ridiculous. It's the, re it's the party of no with the Republicans. It doesn't matter what it is, they're gonna oppose it. Mm -hmm. To the detriment, detriment of the American people. Right. I don't get that. Uh, it, it's uh, it's a circle the wagon mentality that yeah. uh, it's they're coming for us you know in the black uh, you know the the black hel uh, hel helicopters are on the horizon and I it's insanity but that's just yeah, uh, it is what, I think the, the what was it saying do you know the, these fools actually go to their little meetings and pack heat oh yeah the ga yeah I've, I've seen you know the, the gatherings to go on on the drills of course. You know, or I mean, just carry it around I did that when I was nine. You know, I, I used to play guns when I was nine. I didn't go out and, you know, uh, pretend like, it was like I was a platoon leader. And you know, you wonder how many of these guys actually saw service. Uh, no, hardly any yeah, of them, I'll bet. I mean, guys who you see know. service don't like to play war. No. They, they wanted no, to no. put I'd, it done and be, be proud I fired of my gun. First time I had to uh, qualify with, uh, with a weapon, I failed. <laughs> so that I had to do it again. But uh, there was enough playing with guns for me. I yeah. wouldn't. Do it. I'm not even interested in it. And you're right. Most of these people have never seen military service. Well, but the the gubernatorial race looks like it's uh, it, it's going to it's going to heat up. Uh, Bob Ehrlich picked a pretty mm -hmm. credible running mate. Uh, he, but there's a little, little bit problems. of yeah, yeah she's got yeah. legal problems. Well, that's that's the old. Uh, and O'Malley, quite frankly, is running some squalid ads. Well, well, the the rule of thumb is you start dirty. And then you clean your act up. Near, well, he's near certainly the starting line. dirty. You want to marginalize your candidate. Uh, uh, go negative early. And the yeah. unfortunate thing about negative ads, is it is does move about thirty percent of the people. You know, it'll yeah. move people's attitudes. They'll believe the the, the story, uh, regardless if it's a lie or not. They'll they'll believe. Just Got any predictions of that one? Oh, I think O'Malley's going to win by seven, eight points. Yeah, it's going to be. A healthy win. He's going to do fantastic in Prince George's County. Well, of course. Uh, I think the turnout's going to be a, a, a little more significant than you'd spe expect in Prince George's because you do have Baker and and uh, the uh, sure yeah ja uh, yeah Jackson's thong. I don't think thong. Sam Dean's going to draw a big crowd. <laughs> I, I you know I didn't check him to see if he was filed. You know you, you might get some surprises in who actually gets on the 
the starting mm -hmm. line. Well, they, Duran, I think, has filed. Has, oh, well. Yeah, I, I, I think, think so, so, yeah.